Hey one. guys, C10 Kid 96 here. Um, we are doing the carburetor to my BG86, and we are also gonna show you how to clean the spark arrestor on them. And we have to take the handle apart to get to the carburetor. And my neighbor here, Don Alfredo, he is using um, solvent. He does a lot of the carburetor work around the steel for the steel tool. He just where he works, it's an avocado farm, and they use the steel FS240s there and he knows a lot about the carburetors and stuff there so um he's doing the work he's help, he always helps me out and stuff when there's a carburetor if they can't solve the problem i take it to ace hardware where i buy my tools but other than that i haven't had no problems with steel this will stick to it and um but yeah i took out yeah. the yeah you see carburetor is like new we use solvent to clean it look at what was all that gunk that was in the carburetor and also it will run like a champ once we get done with it we're pretty much rebuilding it also you don't really have to take it apart, but it's good to do that anyway. We're just doing this for now since my blower is like a year old. The air filter's still in good shape. And, um, yeah. And also another thing too is, guys, when you take out the, um, the carburetor, so make sure you open the cap a little bit to make sure there's no hole, there's no, um, there's no air in the gas tank. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, so we're also going to show you how to put it back together, so don't worry about that, no, don't stress. The spark plug was still in good shape. Um, we're also cleaning around the gas tank too, because we always like to make sure my stuff is in good shape before I take it back. We're also going to cut a little bit of the of the gas line there, because it's like cracked a bit, so we're just going to take that piece off and reuse it. We use the old piece, so yeah. Okay, I'm Okay. And give us a okay, mark carburetor. Okay, here we go. Here's how you here's how you get all the gunk off of the spark arrestor. You pretty much have to burn it guys. You like with like a torch. See? You light it real good because it burns all the gunk off. You're supposed to melt all that gunk off of it. If you don't take off your screens, it can fr it, your your machine will not work. Right. See? Right stuff guys, look at it makes it look like new again, pretty much. See? Because when I when I got it, I got it and stuff, so you always have to my my rep always told me you always have to take out the spark arresters and clean them. So yeah. And what he's probably gonna do is probably clean it a little bit more. Here we go. Told him about that, you see. Come on, little over though. Like, see, yes, yes, little over there. Yes, yeah. You see, like, it's like new again, guys. It's like you can't go wrong with that. I mean, you can always change them and stuff. But like after a few more tries, I'm probably gonna change this for another year or so. I always take them out and clean. You always remove the screens after I use it. I have a year out of use out of my tools because it'll make it last longer. Um. Yeah, look at the carburetor, it looks like new. He's also gonna probably put it in the solvent too, to clean it up just a little bit too. You don't have to, but still. Solvent pretty much removes all the carbon and stuff out of out of the carburetors and stuff, so that's a good technique. We well, also use gasoline too. Or they also gasoline in the carburetors. Yeah, the gasoline works too. Um, yeah, and my dad also have, have also in the past used um, on these steel blowers and taking out the mufflers and cleaning them too and it works fine too. So, um, but I pretty much, um, now that I found out the, the spark plug, that's a lot easier for me. Um, but yeah, a little bit at a time. I also now, because of him, I know how to take my spark plugs out and all that stuff. A lot because I also learned some stuff from my steel tech at my dealer, so, yeah. All right, now we're gonna put the spark arrestor back in. Tienen que apretarlo con una cosa así. Estar seguro porque si no se caen no. And you always have to make sure you tighten it, guys, because if not, if not, it won't last. I'll also do a video to Raleigh right now for you guys to see how it runs. That's alright. I like the anti vibration system on this blower. We're cleaning pretty much everything. All the carburetor parts we're cleaning because. You always have to maintain your stuff because if you don't, it's not going to last you. And yeah, we're also going to put that. Well, I'll also check the string on it. It's pretty pretty good still. Yeah. Well, 
spark arrestors back in already. There we go. Alright, now we're putting installing the carburetor back in. Just gotta make sure you put that switch back in. Let me turn around real quick. Alright, we're installing it back in. There we go. Bring it back to the orange switch. All right. Now we're gonna install the wires. Yeah, the carburetor wire. All right. First one in. No me cortar esa, bro. Sí. All right. We're gonna cut that one right there. We're gonna cut that one right there. Cause it's a, it's a little bit was it's getting already. Wasted, see? You see, we're gonna cut that part right there. See, we're gonna cut that. All right, let's get like a knife or a pair of cutters. Cut that. We're gonna make sure we get. We're gonna get everything. This is how to maintain your BG86 or BG56 or BG50, BG55. Se alcanza. Está conectando, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Alright, see, there we go. He's gonna connect it now. Look at it. Alright, right, it's almost in. Alright, there we go. It's perfect. Now it's ready to install back in. I'm gonna put that wiring back in. Just gonna install it back in the spot. Easy modification. Okay. All right, there we go. What's in? All right, we're just gonna clean the, the outer part. All right. Perfect. Back in. Just doing this video so that you guys can learn what's going on. Now we're gonna install the cover with the we're gonna install the cover back on it. That's clean also. He's just cleaning it real good with the solvent. Remember guys, you guys can also use gasoline too. Alright. Here we go. And that's in. Now we're going to install the air filter back in. Screws back on first. Bear with me, guys. This is my first time taking this blower apart. I haven't done one in a while, so yeah. All right, we're gonna washers are going back in. There's my washer, the van, my van. All right, perfect. Are right, you gonna see? He's gonna use the washer the screwdriver to put it in. Put the handle back on. 
who is he and we normally don't take the handles off on it guys but since this is a commercial model it's a lot easier to take it out so that way you can get the carburetor out it's harder than get the screwdriver with the screw out see now it's aligned now we're going to put the screws back in When it comes time to do one for my Wii ears, I'll do I'll do a video too, on either the on the on the F4 mix, and then I just gotta learn how to do the valves and we're gonna learn how to do that myself. It shouldn't be that hard. What's nice is that my steel dealer showed me a lot of this stuff, so that's why I know a lot about this stuff. To always working on the tools is keeping your steel screwdriver that comes in the box with your tools. In a few more minutes, we're going to be ready to, to do a startup video of this to, see, to show you the results how the blower came out. So. screw before we put the air filter in. You gotta learn a lot, some of this stuff guys so that we guys can save money because once you take it to be serviced and stuff it gets pretty pricey. So that's why. Choke goes up. Plug in with Check it for, okay, now we're going to install back the, the starter rope. It's going to clean it first for me, which is awesome. I'll just clean all my stuff, guys. Sure, it's going to get dirty stuff, but you got to clean it. you got to take pride in your stuff. And I'm sorry this video gets so long, guys, but I just want to make sure you guys do your tools right. screws back on it. And then we're going to put the air filter back on. That'll be the last thing and then I'll be ready to start up. Once I get once I get my shed in the backyard guys, I'm going to start to I'm gonna get a table and stuff and start doing this, some of this work in my backyard. If I don't, if I don't know some of this stuff, we can't figure it out. What I do is I take it to my mower mechanic and stuff, as in my mowers and stuff, as he, because he's a Honda dealer. So, yeah, and he does all my Honda engines and stuff. So. All right, the starter's back up on it. You gotta put the air filter back on it, and it's gonna be good to go. And if I do work on my buddy's BG55, I'll also do it. So you might want me to do some work on it. The one that was using the video recently. Or that we did the video recently. I'll do a video for you guys too. Alright. There we go. It's all. Everything's back installed. We're checking the gas. And the gas. Alright. It's got gas. Let me do a video for you guys real quick on how to start it. Alright. You put the choke down. Con el choque. Yeah. You put, put the choke down right there, and you put it one or three times. All right, now it's ready to be pulled. Put the choke. No más jale.
results, guys. You, you just pretty much do all that work and your blower will be new. The main thing to be concerned about is always the spark arrestor. You always have to make sure you check that before you always service your stuff. Because if you, it's the screen, especially with gas right now, if you let it just sit there, it's going to ruin your screen arrestor, your carburetor. And now you know how to do that on this floor. I'll do one on the BG55 if I get it back from my buddy. It's not mine, it's his. I'm going to probably service it for him. I'll do a servicing kit video and all that. So, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, here's the video of how to take a BG86 apart, clean the carburetor, spark arrestor. And, um, yeah, and next time if I do a service kit, this won't take it out and do it. There's, there's also a gas tank filter in there you always got to clean. Um, it doesn't need it right now. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Check out Nick's uh, c 10 k 86 on Instagram. We'll also be doing a uh, I'll also be going to the Pomona Swap Me, which is a classic truck show, and um, I'll get some videos for you of classic cars and stuff. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.